Well, it's time for part three of the hydroponic tower build. So for this part, we're gonna need a drill with a drill bit smaller than our screws, a half inch flexible clear water line, the water diverter, a number three Robertson, that's a small square screwdriver. We've got a couple stainless screws and a water pump. So the water pump here is just a 800 liter an hour. I think that's 210 gallons, 17 watts. As long as you've got enough head height to lift the water all the way up to the tower, it'll work. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fish this water line up the tower. It's probably easier to fish it through and all the way down than it is to try and work your way up. So we're just gonna fish it down and then we're gonna grab it once it comes out the bottom. There we go. Now you should have an end of the hose sticking up up here, going down the pipe, and the other end should be sticking out down there. Next thing, just connect your pump here to the hose you just pulled out to the bottom and just set it in the bottom of the pail. Once it's connected, it should look something like this. At this point, you could add water to the bucket if you want to keep it a little bit more stable while you attach the water diverter at the top. Now the next step is to attach the water diverter. So it's kind of a volcano shaped thing with some holes on the side here and the water comes through this hole here and you fasten it through the holes on the side here through the pipe and this is what spreads the water around the circumference of the pipe on the inside and it's what gets your baskets wet all the way down. This simply attaches by pressure fitting it into the opening here. Attached, it'll look something like this. Now we're going to attach it with a couple stainless steel screws. We're going to drill a couple pilot holes and then we're going to fasten it with this. You can pretty much drill your hole anywhere over here. I like to keep it about two inches down. So we're going to drill somewhere around here for our first hole. Once the pilot hole is drilled, all you have to do is insert the screw till it almost pokes out on the inside and then line up the diverter and tighten it up a little bit. But you want a gap all the way around the inside. Let me show you. So you can see my screw just poking its head out right there from the inside of the pipe. We're going to insert it into that tab right there and we're going to try and leave a space all the way around this diverter on the inside of the pipe. So that's the first side we did. We're going to do the same thing to this side. I've got the screw set, but it's not screwed in all the way. We're going to screw it in until it goes into the diverter, but we won't suck it back. We want that spacing all the way around. All right, well that worked out great. You can see the spacing all the way around there. Well, that's what you want because you want the water coming out of the hole in the middle and going all the way around the circle and dripping down the walls. Now reach the point where we can turn it on and see how the flow of water is and adjust it if need be. And there you have it. There's our distribution cap, evenly dispersing the water throughout the inner sides of the tube. There you have it. You can see the water is dripping down all the walls and hitting all the baskets, well, where the baskets would be anyways, and the water simply falls back down into the bucket and gets recirculated up the top. What's left after that is to put our net cups in with our plants. Let's just slide right in, just like that. Finally, just grab your four inch cap for a pipe and slap it on top, and that's it. Thank you for watching. If you like the series, please follow. Drop a comment and like the video. Once you throw some seeds in there, in a few weeks you'll end up with some romaine lettuce sprouts that look kind of like this.